So you may have just picked up your ASUS Rogue Ally, and you might be trying to figure out exactly how you can use this thing. Now luckily for you, the Rogue Ally is not anything super difficult to use. There's a really easy way to kind of understand it. It's a Windows handheld gaming PC, and by the end of this video, you'll have a great understanding on how to use it. Now on the outside of this particular handheld, it's a pretty cool type of layout. So you do have your standard type of D-pad, your joysticks, everything like that throughout. You have your fans and speakers, and you also have your display in the center. Now you have a little rogue type of emblem at the bottom, which is really cool to see. Your D-pad works fairly well right here. You have your you know, joysticks and your ABXY buttons in the top right. You also have these additional buttons that go around the display a little bit. We'll talk about those in a second. And then you also have some like lights that also kind of showcase on the outside of your joysticks as well, which is something that's actually really cool. On the left side of your console, there's not really anything here. And on the right side, there's not really anything. The bottom is basically just some you know standard type of information of your console. And then the top is basically nothing super crazy, but there's some really big stuff to keep in mind at the top portion of your console. Now, here you have your standard headphone jack. So you can go ahead and input your headphone jack here, you can input your headphones, and you can listen to songs and audio and stuff from your particular device. So that is an option you have here. You also have your microSD card slot. So you can go through and you can you know, basically install a microSD card slot right there, which is actually something that's really awesome. So you have that type of capability there, and it gives you a lot more type of capability when it comes down to it from that side. You also have your extra port selection here. So this is, I believe, like an accessory port. You can go through and kind of connect more things to. You have your charger port right here, which is what I'm charging with. You have your volume up and down button right here. So you can quickly put your volume up or down depending on what you want to do. You have some LED indicators right here. So right now mine's blinking. And then you also have your power button in the top right as well. So you can quickly hold down this thing. You can click on it if you want to, to basically go ahead and power it up. And you have that type of capability there when it comes down to it. So that is that on that side. Now on the completely other side right here, you do have some other types of kind of layouts as well. So here you basically have this little R button. So you have your right and left kind of trigger buttons kind of going on here. So these are just kind of some back buttons that you have. It is something that's actually really cool. And you can go through and click into these things right there. And that is something that's really awesome to kind of see. You also have your fans in the background as well, and this cool little emblem. So that is that on the exterior of your particular device. Now I have already kind of gone through and gone through the initial setup of my ASUS Rogue Ally after booting it up. But if you haven't yet set up your ASUS Rogue Ally, I have a video that I've already made going through the setup process. I will leave that link down in the description below. So you can watch that video if you haven't gone through the initial setup. Now you have to remember that this Rogue Ally pretty much works the same way as any other Windows PC. So within this type of console, you have your standard display in the center, then you have your buttons kind of surrounding it. Now, if I kind of go ahead and zoom in a little bit into this display, going through the Windows operating system is pretty basic. You have your standard icons everywhere. This thing is also a touch screen, so you can go through and you know use a touch screen on it. You can also connect a wireless mouse or a keyboard on it or a wired mouse and keyboard if you want to because this thing does give you that type of capability there as well. You also have the standard types of you know, things at the bottom. There, it's a standard Windows, Windows PC, so you have everything that you need from a Windows PC right in here. Now the buttons around the display are also something that's very interesting. So right up here you have this multi-window button. Depending on what you're trying to do, you can go through and click on it and get some more capability there. You also have this little Asus Rogue Ally type of like you know, menu button. If you tap on this button right here, it'll go ahead and bring in a menu panel. This is basically your command center. So within this type of panel, it gives you some quick actions for your particular device. So you can see right here, there's a few things going on. For one, you have your brightness and you have your sound toggles. You can quickly go through increase or decrease the sound or increase and or decrease the brightness just by swiping this particular panel up and down. So it's just like your control center of like your Android phone, you have that type of capability right there, which is actually something that's really cool. Now you also have a few other things. You have this, you know, this turbo mode. If you click on it, 
it'll go through and kind of you know kind of change out your mode in your device so you can have custom profiles for different types of modes you have this other type of mode here you have a lot of different options here so i'd recommend kind of going through here and kind of customizing some things that you want and you know it's going to go through and allow you to kind of customize your whole entire experience just from these quick toggles you can also go and change it from gamepad mode to desktop mode and you can configure those modes here as as well so that right there is another one of those types of advantages that you have in this particular situation as well you can also click on the x button up here to kind of get out of it now on top of that if you look at the top right there's a few more buttons you have this like menu type of button right there which depending on which game and which application you're in if you click on it it'll show you some more options and then you have this button right here that is a button called Armory Crate. What that button does, it allows you to kind of click on it and jump into this kind of like quick toggle area, which gives you, it basically houses a bunch of different games that you might have. So a lot of these different types of game experiences that you might be into, you know, things like Steam, things like Xbox Cloud Gaming, and some other areas like EA Games or Ubisoft, you have the ability of kind of going here and kind of, you know, taking more advantage and you know, jumping into an area that already gives you that type of capability, rather than it's a game launcher basically. So it just gives you a bunch of different games and you know areas that you can kind of jump into, and it is something that's really really cool. So you can kind of go right into here, and you can immediately start getting access to it. So if you want to, you can tap onto like Xbox Cloud Gaming for example, and you can jump right into Xbox Cloud Gaming, and you can play all the games that you want to if you have an Xbox account. Same exact thing with Steam. Right. With Steam, you can jump into that. You can click right here in any application and you can jump right into Steam. You can click into EA. You can jump into whatever account panel you have. And if you don't already have you know, it installed, you tap on it. And I think it opens up in Microsoft Store or the website where you can actually download that type of capability. So it is something that's actually really cool. And you have that type of capability right there. Now, beyond that, if you want to, some other big things I'd recommend doing every once in a while is kind of going through and basically updating your Rogue Ally. Now, because it is a Windows PC, you can always update Windows natively. And you can do that by going inside of your Windows icon right at the bottom bar right here, the bottom left. Click onto the settings option, which is right here. And you can basically go through and then modify your Windows PC whichever way you want to. So this is something that's actually really cool because it automatically natively gives you so many different types of features and things that you can kind of modify here. So what you can do here is you can essentially just modify your PC whichever way you want to. So in most cases, what I would recommend doing as soon as you go ahead and kind of buy your Rogue Ally, it probably will already end up doing this natively already, but clicking on the Windows Update button at the bottom right over here might allow you to go through and actually update your Windows PC natively just within this particular one. So click on, you know, update right here. You can check for updates and I'd recommend just going through and updating your PC right here. And that can also give you a lot of features built in right in. But you also have a lot of options and a lot of things that you can modify here as well. And that is also something else that you can kind of check out here too. So at the high level, that is basically how you use your ASUS Rogue Ally. Just remember to charge this thing up. Remember to keep enough storage available to play more games. And you can also expand your storage by clicking and just clicking onto uh, the top panel up here and putting in a micro SD card. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soul then.